some hope. Now, when it came to those spiritual and physical signs together, uh, Jesus used uh, what was around him and what was in front of him. And he talked about you know, Israel and he talked about Jerusalem. In fact, he was very specific about Jerusalem. He said, when you see Jerusalem no longer under the feet of the Gentiles or trodden down by the Gentiles, you'll know that the times of the Gentiles is coming to an end. And now that was a key phrase that I think we have to really consider and perk up our ears and say, now what does he mean by the times of the Gentiles? So if you go back into the scriptures and you do a study on times of the Gentiles, there's another reference that pops up right away, and that's in Romans. It's uh, Romans 11, chapter 20, uh, 11, uh, verse 25. And um, the Apostle Paul is writing to the Roman, to the believers in Rome, and he's saying, I don't want you to be uh, uh, you know, puffed up and, 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 and arrogant in your own uh, ways, but he said, remember this. He said that, Blindness in part has happened to Israel until the time of the Gentiles is fulfilled. And uh, if you put these two prophecies together, what Jesus said and what Paul said, it's very interesting because in 1967, you know, Jerusalem came back in, under the uh, jurisdiction of the Jewish people, really for the first time in over 2,000 years, except for a few brief period uh, moments. And so here, Jerusalem, as this touchstone, as the epicenter, comes back into the hands of the Jewish people. And it is a miraculous war, and we've done programs about that, and I've talked a lot about it, about how in just six days, Jerusalem came back into the hands of the Jewish people. But it was significant in that um, something happened in the spiritual realm as well as in the natural, because all of a sudden, Jews around the world started to have a new hunger for the Bible, had started to have a new desire to seek what was the Bible saying, talking about. And uh, this is the time of the Gentiles coming to an end. And so now God is focusing back on the Jews and because the Bible says salvation is of the Jews. And, and, um, and he's saying, you know, go back to them and, and, and give them, uh, make sure that the Jewish people are, you know, given food, given spiritual food as well. Because this time of the Gentiles is for, you know, is coming to an end. Okay, I'm getting the word that I gotta be, be quick. Okay, so what is the next verse? It says, it talks about mercy. And that's how I'd like to end this program. It talks about how through their unbelief, that was the Jewish unbelief, the Gentiles have received mercy. And now by your mercy, Gentiles, the Jewish people will believe. And I want to encourage you to have a heart of kindness and love and mercy to this nation, uh, this regathered nation of Israel, because listen, they're going through it. It's not an easy thing to live here and see everyone around you against you and, um, you know, struggle day by day with, uh, with all that, that Israelis have to deal with. But mercy. And then next time, tomorrow, or the next program, I want to talk about the Mahdi. And that is this Shiite Muslim uh, messianic figure who is uh, being proposed by uh, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, the president of Iran. And he's saying that he's coming coming soon. So even the Islamic folks are looking for a messianic figure to come. So this is Jay Rawlings reporting to you from Jerusalem. Until next time, where in the world are we going? I look forward to being with you real soon.